coaching staff coming in. The, uh, the energy they bring has really transferred to all those players, and we're coming out with a lot more enthusiasm, and a lot more excitement when we uh, go out on the field. Last year, obviously, Hoban had some injuries and not a characteristic season. As a leader this year, being a senior like you are in the quarterback, what is your role in terms of on the field, off the field leadership that you have to provide? Well, I'm just making sure those guys stay up. Um, our coaches really stress to us not to get down at all throughout the game, because especially with our offense this year, we can score fast, score quick, and our defense, you know, they take care of themselves, but uh, they just keep the guys up and just make sure they play our game. What about uh, your future? I know uh, Coach has sent a lot of guys up to the next level. I know you're concentrating right now on this uh, year's football season, but what about uh, five, ten years down the road? Do you want to stay in football? Do you want to be a coach like your dad? And what's the future look for you? Well, I'm, I, uh, right now I'm just, you know, like you said, I'm focusing on this season right now, but I would, uh, after this season, I'd like to go on and keep playing in college, but right now I'm, I'm just going to go out and play my best this season and see where it takes me. Coach, what about uh, the strengths and weaknesses? Is it too early to tell uh, what you're going to be good at, what you have to concentrate on? Is it too early right now for just two scrimmages? Yeah, well, you know, when you look at it, there are a couple areas we feel we're in pretty, pretty good shape with, and other areas where you know, we'll have to see what transpires. But uh, one positive that came out last year, we really put a lot of individuals in the over 30 letters, 31 letters of the class. So we have that experience right there. Uh, on our side, and that's really helped uh, with the addition of, uh, well, me, with uh, the first engagement. Uh, we also had a couple of linemen who were out, but because of the experience, we've had guys step in and do a great job of really helping us to beat. If there's one area of concern right now, it would be the possibility of a kicking game because our punter uh, last year uh, is. Uh, Actually, walk on at Kent State with the third walk on there. And, uh, and we don't really have an established punter at this point in time. A couple guys look pretty good, but we haven't punted in a real contest yet. So that's a concern. We struggled a little bit with our uh, KT and Global team last year. It looks vastly improved, but uh, that is a part of the game that we really have been working on and, and hopefully you know, that particular weakness becomes a strength as we work our way through the season. Coach, I know you're no different than the other head coach around the state of Ohio. You're only concentrating on next Friday and going up to Kent to take down the Roosevelt. For those fans that happen to be listening down here in Stark County, I grew up in that. I know about that rivalry that's it's week five, St. Vincent St. Here, those fans that aren't familiar with that, how intense, and you've been in the middle of that thing for years, how intense is that rivalry up there between that Holman and St. Vincent St. Mary? I'll tell you, it's, it's extremely intense. I played in a rivalry when I was in high school, a student of a student of Catholic, so uh, I was involved in a rivalry that was uh, one of the tops down in Ohio Valley, but up here I've had numerous opposing coaches, so uh, it's great about just being at the game and watching how intense it is and, and uh, how they wish that they played in the game for so you know, that type of a passion and huge and everything else with it. I know the game's going to be up at Info Stadium Stadium on the University of African campus. You'll probably have 12, 15, 15,000. I mean, that is a, a big game. I know you can't look past that. But that's got to, I mean, on game week for St. Vincent, that's a whole different field getting up on Monday morning, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, it sure is. We were struggling last year, and St. Vincent really uh, played outstanding football uh, in the early part of the season, really throughout the year, but uh, we were right in there until the very end of the last uh, top 17 to 14 game. And that just kind of shows the rivalry there. As, as much as we were struggling, we went up against them. And, and our kids played at an entirely different level. And, and the same thing's happened, you know, the other way around too. So uh, it's uh, it's a great contest, and, and if, if individuals have not been at that game, uh, if they wanted to go to a game on Friday night, experience great, and that would definitely be one of Some of our listeners, Ralph, might not be aware of North Coast League football. But it's pretty tough when you think about now the addition of Walsh Jesuit, uh, Mentor Lake Catholic, Padua. I mean, it is a tough league, isn't it? It is an extremely difficult league. And with the addition last year of Walsh and Benedictine, uh, you're bringing in a couple more uh, schools that have state championships under the belt. And uh, we were in a tough, uh, the Blue Division, the division we're in is a very tough one, but they, uh, 
they raised the bar there too. So it, it's it's difficult. You get to that league and uh, it's there's no kickoffs in any of those games. Coach, we certainly appreciate you coming over tonight. As we uh, told Coach DeMarco, we know how busy it is. This is usually uh, kind of a family night, the time you uh, kind of uh, get rejuvenated before game week. We appreciate you coming by. Best of luck to Holman this year. Appreciate you having us guys here. Coach Ralph Orsini and uh, his son is here too. Yes, Dominic, fine young quarterback, uh, doing a great job for the Knights. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll come right back down to uh, Stark County. Head coach Bo Balderson is here from the Jackson Polar Bears. They're